managed to obscure his vision. But I must still support him for the future good. I must fulfill the promise I made to Guan Yu, and I must ensure that the people have hope for a virtuous future. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly! All units, march! We cannot afford to lose this position! I shall personally see to its defense! The forces of Wu are attacking! Everyone, to your positions! Our allies will retreat through this place. We must not let Wu take it! Forward! Attack with the power of the dragon and the swiftness of the eagle! The power of the Shu forces is nearly overwhelming. It seems sadness has changed that man into a demon driven by sheer rage. We must approach this battle with boundless determination. Summon the supply unit. We cannot afford to run out of provisions. Reporting! Our supply unit has arrived from the supply depot. Okay, we've secured the supplies. Everyone, keep your spirits up. This is where we repel the Shu Army's attack. The Shu army has already arrived at Yiling. Prepare the siege weapons. We must defend this land, no matter what the cost. Liu Bei has been consumed by rage and failed to notice what was happening. We have him right where we want him. What? What does this mean? Twin is calm and composed. It seems we have been outdone. The time has come. Master Jiran. Hey, Wushu! It's time, right? The crimson flames, like the path to the future of Sulu! Everyone, I have let you down. I convinced myself I was fighting for the sake of a land of virtue and benevolence, but all I wanted was to avenge my brother's death. And when you start a war based on personal emotions, this is what happens. No. This is not your fault, my lord. The blame lies with us. We were too immature and foolish to read the enemy's strategy. That's right. We allowed our formation lines to be stretched too thin, and that gave the enemy the opening they needed. The weakness inherent in a large army was exploited, and there was nothing more we could do. 
Before we knew it, our whole camp was up in flames. With the fire ripping through our ranks, we were completely helpless. Raise your heads, everyone. This is no time to be feeling sorry for ourselves. We have to think of a way out of this crisis. Yes, of course. My allies have betrayed me, my brothers have been slain, and I have led my forces to a humiliating defeat. It may be that I am not fated to live much longer. Master Liu Bei! Master Li Obei, you must retreat. My father, my brother, Master Zhang Fei, they are all gone. But you, my lord, we cannot lose you. We will have your back. You must flee. We weren't able to keep my father or my brother safe. But we will die before we let anything happen to you, Master Li Obei. I will not allow any further harm to befall those whom I love. We must all make it home safely together to Yi Province. I have lost my sworn brothers, but it seems their strength lives on in their children. I am a lucky man indeed. I am most grateful to you all. I will not allow your conviction to go to waste. We must all make it safely back to Yi Province. We will retreat to Bay D Cast. Come, everyone! We must all make it back to E Province alive! R reporting Lu Shun is blocking the way to Bay D Castle. Wu has already put plans in place. Curse them! All men advance! We will take down Lu Shun and cut open a path to safety! Liu Bei's fate is hanging by a thread. But I cannot allow the flame of hope to be extinguished here. I will keep him safe so that he may retreat safely. I must remove Lu Shun from the picture. to let you escape. You must die today, for the good of Lu! <laughs> Report from Lord Jugo Leon. He wants us to use this escape route. <laughs> I can't let Lu Shun steal all my glory. I've got to get out there and help him. Almost had him within my grasp. For me to fail here is a clear sign of my inexperience. We have shaken off Wu's pursuit. We must hurry to Beidi Castle. In order to rescue Liu Bei, I may have to fight with all that this old body can muster. We cannot afford to lose this position! I shall only see to its defense! Zuo Tzu rescued Liu Bei from danger and helped him flee to Beidi Castle. With disappointment in his heart, Liu Bei eventually came down with a severe illness. Liu Bei was a true hero, destined to usher in 
a new age for the land. Zuo Tzu believed strongly in his potential and saved him numerous times. He fought in various battles to help create a land of benevolence. However, it seemed that long struggle was coming to an end. Zuo Tzu paid a visit to Liu Bei when Sun Cheng Xiong and everybody else were sleeping. He hoped to speak with him one last time. Lord Liu Bei. You. You're Zuo Tzu. Virtuous one. Will you fall into illness? Before achieving your dreams? Yes, it seems so. Forgive me. After all, that you have done to hate me. No. Not at all. I only did it because I wanted to. I thank you, Zuo Tzu. I'm sorry it's like this, but I'm glad... ...that I was able to thank you. So what? Is it that you wish for, now? I would hope that... ...Mistress Sheng Sheng... ...would not be overly sad on my account. True sadness can sometimes... ...bring about salvation. Can it, truly? Farewell, Zuo Tzu. It is time I go to find my brothers. Mm. A single person's life can be so fleeting. A single person's world is so empty. Farewell, Liu Bei. If fate is kind, there will be some who take up arms and fight for your cause. <laughs>